Hello viewers. Recently I watched a video by The Chem Life where he creates the pigment Prussian Blue. I was inspired by this and made this video demonstrating a somewhat different route to Prussian Blue using chemicals I remembered from a chemistry set I had in my childhood. <coughs> What we're using is sodium ferrocyanide and iron ammonium sulfate, also known as ferric ammonium sulfate. Both of these compounds give a relatively colorless solution as opposed to the ferric chloride. Ferric chloride, when spilled, can stain. It is also used in etching copper and will etch other metals if given the chance. We'll start with um, mixing a sodium ferrocyanide solution. You can see sodium ferrocyanide is not at all like the potassium ferrous cyanide that the ChemLife had. It's actually uh, more of a yellowish, uh, kind of a pale yellow crystal. Okay, so sodium ferrocyanide. So the left is sodium ferrocyanide, the right will be ferric ammonium sulfate. And I don't think the camera will do that justice, but it's a kind of a very, very pale purple crystal. that solution and upon mixing with the water a little bit more uh, orange just give this a little check to mix So as you can see, it dissolved to form an orange solution, which is mm, slightly unexpected. Uh, I expected it to be a transparent solution, but I wonder if there's some uh, something in the water that it may have reacted with. Now, taking the sodium ferrocyanide into the ferric ammonium sulfate. And as you can see, the beautiful dark blue of the Prussian blue drop, the beautiful dark blue of the Prussian blue dye. Let me see if I can get a uh, <clears throat> tighter, closer view here. So there you go. Prussian blue. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe.